Hello! I've got a very short video today on what can you do with the videos I'm posting to YouTube. At least I'm currently posting them to YouTube. Um, but, you know, I am posting these videos. What can you do with the videos? And the reason I ask is that a friend asked if it would be okay to also put the videos on another sharing service that is, uh, you know, more free in a way, right? Um, or, you know, could you put it on the Internet Archive or could you remix the videos? Could you take the transcripts and use the transcripts? Whatever. And the answer is absolutely. You can do all those things as long as you follow the terms of the Creative Commons by license, which is an attribution license, which requires attribution. That means you have to say that, you know, William E. Byrd created the original version, you know, whatever. You have to attribute it, you know, this was the video, this was the title, this was the date. However is the proper way to attribute it. That's the license that all of these videos and everything I've made actually under YouTube falls under. Now, one thing that's unsure or like uncertain to me, which actually does bother me, is I can't tell which version of the license YouTube uses. So if I go and look at my settings for my channel and look at the defaults and all that, it says Creative Commons attributions or Creative Commons by. Um, and I can look at the, uh, actually, let me go here. I can look at the YouTube help and it has help for Creative Commons and it talks to you a little bit about it. Um, I guess they used to list attribution also, the videos that it showed attribution for yours and they discontinued it, whatever. But here it tells you about uh, Creative Commons licenses, and YouTube allows creators to mark their videos with a Creative Commons CC BY license. So that's an attribution license. Okay, so that means as the creator, I retain the copyright to the videos. I'm the copyright holder. However, because I'm releasing the videos under a CC BY license, other people have certain rights that I am granting them under that license. And that includes the ability to remix things, uh, repost things, create derivative works, as long as they give attribution to the original along, and as long as they follow the terms of the CC BY license. Okay. And, you know, here, blah, blah, blah. Remains the default, so I change the default. Can only be used, Creative Commons licenses can only be used on 100% original content. Okay, so if I'm, you know, mixing in YouTube music or something, then it's not going to work, but I'm only going to do original content, so that's fine. And uh, by marking your original video with a Creative Commons license, you're granting the entire YouTube community the right to reuse and edit that video, and anyone else wants to, that's fine. Uh, original created content. Okay, there we go. So that's all fine. The part that I'm a little confused with is that if I click on this link from this Creative Commons you know, help page, this help page from YouTube, if I click on it, it brings me to CC by 3.0, okay, uh, which is the older version of the attribution license for, for CC uh, Creative Commons, and it tells you what the rules are. Okay, no problem. However, there is an updated version of that license, the CC by 4.0, and that's the 4.0 International and they've changed the license a little bit to make it easier to understand and also to make internationally um, the rights more clear or more easily understood or enforced legally, whatever. So the CC4, uh, CC BY 4.0 tells you you're allowed to share and adopt, 
adapt, remix, transform. You can copy or redistribute in any medium or any format for any purpose, even commercially. Okay, You can build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Um, the license, licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license term. So I can't change, I can't say, oh, I'm removing that license. You're not allowed to do it anymore. Okay, it's like, that's it. But you have to give appropriate credit. And why am I doing this? Well, I guess I live in an academic environment, right? And that's credit is what we give each other. It just, it also just seems like common courtesy, just in common courtesy, and also so people can find the original source. So that's why I'm, why I'm using this attribution license. And actually, it's the default anyway. I mean, that's the only other choice on YouTube is the attribution, you know, the CC BY license. So, and I think that makes sense anyway. But literally, a company or an individual person could take all my videos and shove them onto a DVD or whatever, they could charge money for that DVD. You say, oh, look, we've got a whole bunch of shovelware. we got one kilo tube of videos on the DVD or the Blu-ray. You know, it's gonna we're going to charge $10,000 for one kilo tube of Scheme and Mini Canron and Will's Rants. Okay, that's fine. It's perfectly allowed under license as long as it give me attribution and follow the other conditions of the license. So that's fine. Um, yeah, now the, the, like I was saying, the thing that is a little unclear to me is when I choose or when I go to the YouTube page and I, I look at the settings and I can, you know, either choose the standard YouTube license or I can stand, uh, choose the creative commons by license, the CC by license. I don't see a version number. I don't see a version number. And the help page points to the CC by 3.0. Uh, CC uh, attribution 3.0 unported. Now, everything I release that is not code that's covered under maybe MIT license, but if I'm releasing documents, that is going to be a CC by, and I use 4.0 legal, uh, sorry, attribution 4.0 international. I should say it that way. CC by 4.0. It's the international license. That's what I'm using. That is the latest version of this license. If they ever go to a CC by 5.0 because they fixed some problems with the license, well, then at that point, you know, maybe I'll switch to that. Because I am the copyright holder, uh, my understanding is I could dual license. So, you know, it may be that YouTube, for some reason, is saying this is a CC by uh, 3.0 what I want to release my videos under would be a CC by 4.0 international, you know, attribution 4.0 international. That's the license I want my videos under. And uh, if you want to redistribute my license, uh, my videos in any format, do all those things, that's fine. You know, please do it under a CC by 4.0 international, you know, like add that uh, document pointer here uh, for whatever you're doing or for licensing terms. And uh, you have my blessing. It's not just, you don't just have my permission, but you also have my blessing to do those things. Please just give attribution and please just follow the terms of the license. But yeah, I'd be delighted if if people uh, distribute these videos and um, you know, remix them, reuse parts of them. If you want to extract the transcript from a video and you know, edit it and come up with a, uh, you know, a shorter, less ranty version of something pithy and then include it in, you know, some documentation having to do a scheme. That's all fine as long as you follow the terms of the license and give attribution and anything else the license says. And it's fine even if you did that commercially, even if you're doing that for commercial software, a manual for commercial software, whatever. That's all fine. Okay. So that's my answer. Uh, yes, absolutely. CC by uh, the attribution license, ideally 4.0 international. So that's that's how I think of this CC by 4.0 international. That's how I want to license everything. And you have my blessing and my permission and do with it as you will, just abide by the license.
Thank you very much.